everyone. For today's art project, we will be exploring drawing shadows. So you'll need some large white paper, though you can do this with any size paper. You'll also want a marker or something to trace with. Um, and you could try a little bit of watercolor. You can use a palette or you can make um, a little jar of watercolor paint like this. Um, there are a couple different ways to do this activity. To begin, you are going to take your piece of paper and hold it in a place where you find shadows. It helps to do this on a really sunny day um, so you can get really clear pronounced shadows. If you look at this paper, um, you can see lots of leaves and even some of the buds that are forming on this tree. So I think I might really like this spot. Or maybe I'll try over here. I think I like this. I like to see the branches. So I'm going to lay it down in my favorite spot. And I have to be careful because I have a shadow too. And I could trace my own shadow. Just like that if I hold kind of still. But today I'm going to trace the shapes that I see. And I'm gonna not worry too much. I might need someone to hold the paper for me while I do this. And I'm just gonna trace all the dark parts, making a line to show where these shadows are. And it doesn't have to be all the shadows, but the ones that you like the best. Maybe my drawing style changes a little bit as I do this. However I want to trace them is okay. Looks like I left some out over here. Oh, and now it moved, but that's okay. And I have my shadow tracing. For our next part of our shadow drawing and painting project, um, you can find something that has a strong and distinct shadow that's closer to the ground and take some watercolor paint and just go in and start to put some paint down in the spots where you see the shadows. And again, it helps to hold it or to have somebody hold the paper so that it doesn't move around too much. And you can use different colors for this, but I chose to just use blue. I like how it comes out. 